when it comes to lithium, then people usually associate it with batteries and just technological devices. Pretty much all electric vehicles have some lithium in their batteries. But no one really knows that lithium as a compound can also have many anti-aging and health benefits. In this video, I'm going to talk about this new study that showed how lithium can extend human lifespan. Do it! So the study is very new, published January 11, 2023. Lithium treatment extends human lifespan and uh, they did find that among like a half million individuals the uh, lithium use was associated with like you know life extension and uh, better anti-aging effects we here find therapeutic supplementation of lithium linked to decreased mortality of individuals diagnosed with affective disorders so historically lithium has been used with like bipolar disorder mania schizophrenia and you know those kinds of mental disorders and um, it does have like some cognitive effects as well it can protect against dementia and just have like a nootropic effect in some sense. So in this study, they find that uh, analysis revealed lithium to be the strongest factor in regards to increased survival effects in this cohort of people, corresponding to 3.6 times lower chances of dying at a given age for lithium users compared to users of other antipsychotic drugs. <laughs> it's uh, hard to control because, you know, if the individuals are taking antipsychotic drugs, then they already have, yeah, like these affective disorders and like, like other like mental you know they're not they're not healthy in the the like you know best optimal sense and uh, just that adding the lithium obviously compared to regular people who don't have any like mental disorders then um, you know it doesn't mean that lithium could be even better for individuals who don't have any mental disorders it it apparently is better than like these antipsychotic drugs and uh, not taking any like drugs if you have a mental disorder. So you can see from this chart, the uh, individuals who did take lithium, uh, the, they do have increased survival and reduced mortality and across pretty much all ages, but uh, significantly more after the age of like 65. That's where the, uh, the uh, difference between taking lithium and not taking lithium apparently widens significantly more. And as you can see, the use of lithium was actually associated with more survival than even BMI and alcohol intake or exercise or smoking. So uh, yeah, this uh, is definitely like one of the most significant or the significant factor what determined the survival between these individuals in this group. But lithium has also other studies showing that it has longevity effects in pretty much all animals, all species. In humans, we find here an inverse correlation between drinking water lithium concentrations and all-cause mortality in 18 neighboring Japanese municipalities with a total of 1.2 million individuals. Next study, 2018, trace lithium in Texas tap water is negatively associated with all-cause mortality and premature death. This is the study actually building up on the Japanese study, the 18 Japanese municipalities using a larger data set with several Texas counties. Our study shows that lithium concentrations in tap water are negatively associated with all cause mortality. Thus, our present findings extend and reinforce lithium's purported life prolonging effects in humans. Not only just all cause mortality, but even suicide. So uh, lithium levels in the public drinking water supply and risk of suicide. Higher lithium levels in drinking water might have a protective effect on the risk of suicide in men. Here's the graph of the study and uh, you can see that yeah the levels of uh, lithium the higher concentrations of like 25 micrograms per liter that uh, is associated yeah like with significantly reduced rates of uh, suicide compared to like having zero or you know five micrograms per uh, liter so it's almost like a linear uh, dose specific response in reducing the rates of mortality in this study. And uh, this uh, finding is also supported by other studies, lithium in the prevention of suicidal behavior and all cause mortality in patients with mood disorders. So it uh, kind of like, you know, stabilizes the mind. A lot of it has to do apparently through NRF2. So uh, lithium causes like a small hormetic effect similar to other uh, supplements or activities and uh, increases NRF2, which is this you know, stimulator or activator of glutathione also, which increases your antioxidant defense status. So this is the reason why lithium has, like it just reduces inflammation, reduces oxidative stress, and uh, protects against uh, many aspects of like, you know, aging through oxidative stress. And this is the reason why it has also effects on the brain in terms of neuroprotective effects. Uh, dementia, lithium can have, uh, with, it can reduce the incidence of uh, dementia in uh, patients with bipolar disorder. Now, lithium is one of those minerals that doesn't have an actual RDA. Like there is no like uh, 
dietary guideline for getting lithium from your diet or water. Usually most people get, or let's say your tap water has some lithium, then on general you're gonna get something around like, you know, at least one milligram or 0 0.5 milligrams of lithium per day from the dietary sources and the tap water. If, however, you're living in a rural region that doesn't have any lithium in your uh, water or you have actual, you know, you're drinking just purified water, distilled water that doesn't have any minerals, then yeah, chances are you may be like somewhat on the lower end around like, you know, 0 0.5 milligrams. I think that, you know, generally these studies also support that you want to have at least like one milligram of lithium per day from any source like your water or your uh, dietary sources. However, personally, I also use like a microdosing of uh, lithium or a Tate. I take like one milligram not every day, but, you know, definitely like, you know, twice a week, three times a week or something like that. And uh, I use it mostly as like the brain protective effects. I use it as a nootropic, but uh, yeah, apparently in microdoses, it also has life, uh, lifespan extending effects and uh, reduces risk of mortality. Lithium is also deemed to be relatively safe. It uh, doesn't have any like actual toxic side effects unless you're taking like, you know, some ungodly amounts of it. If you take like one milligram or yeah, you drink some tap water that has lithium, then yeah, chances are nothing is going to happen. And they found even in people with cardiac disease, uh, lithium is generally safe. However, pregnant women should definitely avoid getting too much lithium or taking like a lithium supplement because uh, they can increase the risk of cardiac malformations in the baby. So yeah, like if you're pregnant, then uh, definitely don't uh, do this. In conclusion, lithium in tap water is associated with reduced uh, rates of suicide, homicide, and uh, reduced risk of all cause mortality as well. Using lithium as a supplement has anti-aging and protective effects in individuals who have like mental disorders and mental affective disorders. So uh, yeah, I think that uh, like a microdosing lithium as a nootropic given is definitely something that I'm doing and I think could be well worth it if you take like one milligram of lithium, you know, a few times a week. Definitely don't do it like every day. I, I think it's not necessary, but you know, every once in a while it's probably kind of a good, good strategy to do. If you are interested in reversing your biological age and slowing down aging, then uh, email me the word health to info at seamland.com and I'll send you the details. But other than that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure to click the like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seam. Stay optimized, stay empowered.